Hey my friends, it's Boydick Justice playing Subnautica. This video has spoilers in it. Um, I think that one of them in particular is important uh, because of a bug issue with gathering a particular resource. But if you do not want uh, the main story spoiled, uh, you don't watch this video. And with that, I am I'm going to continue with the, the spoilers for the game. So, from left to right, when we enter here, we enter the primary containment facility, we see the Ion Cube node. There are four portals from left to right, so I'm going to call this Portal 1. And Portal 1 has takes you to the bulb zone, where there is a bulb bush that you need. This second door is not a portal, but this third door is, and I'm going to call that Portal 2. Portal 2 takes you to the one of the mushroom forests where you need to gather a fungal sample. Okay, That's the moon pool right there. That first doorway to the right of the moon pool, I'm calling that Portal 3. That will take you to the Lost River, where you gather ghost weed. This door behind this uh, almost looks like a cube or a dice. That is not a portal, but this one, it's the first door to the right of the inclined stairway. I'm going to call that portal four that takes you to the crag field where you can get the eye stock so just run through those again so portal one takes you to the bulb zone for the bulb bush portal two which is to the left of the moon pool takes you to a mushroom forest for the fungal sample portal three to the right of the moon pool takes you to Lost River for ghost weed and portal four which is the first door to the right uh, if you're coming up the ramp that is it's the first door to the right portal four will take you to the crag field for the eye stock okay with that being said portal two is the one that can be problematic for PlayStation 4 users. And that's why I want to go there. Again, I'm not going through this doorway in the prawn suit because the prawn suit has an unfortunate habit of bugging out both on doorways and on these inclined walkways. So I hate to take you guys the slower way, but it is the safer way. So I'm going to choose that. Again, you need an ion cube uh, to activate this particular alien arch or portal. I'm calling them portals, but I think the game calls them alien arches. Okay. This is the thing that I need to show you. As you exit here, you're going to want to swim up. You can see I dropped a, a, a beacon here to find my way back because that cave is a little bit tricky to find. So I call this beacon portal to entry and exit. You can call it whatever you want. But when you come to these mushrooms, this is the part that I, it almost gave me a heart attack because I hit this, you have to get the fungal uh, sample from this tree mushroom, right? Sometimes you hit it on the side and it works, but for whatever reason, it wasn't doing it for me. Now here's another thing too. You can only get two samples per mushroom cap. So you're like, oh my gosh, what do I do? 
Well, then you go to another mushroom cap. Yeah, and for whatever reason today, it's allowing me to harvest them from the side. Before I had a bug where I couldn't harvest these from the side. And I was really, really concerned. However, here's a workaround. If you're hitting the side of a tree mushroom and you're getting nothing, try this. One, try to come down on it vertically. Hit it from the top vertically. Sometimes that will work. And if hitting it from the top doesn't work, come underneath it and again hit it vertically from the bottom. And you can only get two of these fungal samples from one mushroom cap. But I just wanted you to know about that because the first time I was playing it bugged out on me. I hit these things from the side, couldn't harvest anything. I thought my game was broken. But if that doesn't work, hit it from the top vertically and if that doesn't work, hit it from the bottom vertically. I hope that helps you get uh, the fungal samples that you need from Portal 2.